episode, and we're here with more Final Fantasy XII. Um, what was going on with my TV? Sorry, give me a moment. TV is getting weird. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, that fixes it. All right. So as usual, I'm going to do the thing where I go ahead and uh, I'm not even going to check my sound because I know it's working. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on mute while I do my video thingy and send out my whatchamacallit. Sorry, I'm a bit out of it right now. Post it, I'm live. Uh, I'll be here and I'll be back in the chat soon. Alright, I'm back. Um, sorry, I'd have to pull up my stream too, sorry. Because even though I don't do the sound check, I still gotta do the thing. Ugh, come on, work, work. Sorry, tonight's stream isn't gonna be as long because um, I got a job. Um, I got hired for a part-time position at a gas station. And I'll be working there part-time, which is great. Um, it gets me out of the house. I'm able to do stuff with my mental health, you know, make some cash in my pocket, which is great. Um, you know, I'm not rushing to go jump into full-time work uh, right off the bat as much as I would like to have, like, some super steady cash. Um, I figured that it's best for me to pace myself and take my time. But, yeah, that's the good news. So... My schedule is going to probably be shifting based on when I work, so for now it's not going to be a super accurate schedule. Um, you know, I'm just going to try to do the best that I can. Hopefully I can get a steady schedule. If not, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do, but for now we're gonna sit here and try to go ahead and stream and uh, you know just enjoy ourselves the best we can, you know? Um so yeah, that's it. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue with tonight's stream. Um last time we let's see that we visited on door, we got through the mountain and got outside the mountain the mines and got Pinello back. We did that whole I'm Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg of Damascus thing, which is like an infamous line from this. Um, yeah, we did some stuff. We did some stuff. And we did good. Um, so now I'm just going to drop into here and upgrade everybody's stuff. Since now I should have my full 16. Yep. So this is the full roster of the game and how it's going to look for, uh, for these days. Um, this is just how it looks. So this is the full roster. Uh, we will have occasional guests to play the seventh person, but for now, it is a six-person team also, as far as my facial hair being gone, um, I shaved. Um, I had the interview today, which I didn't expect it, which is not bad, but I just, I did not expect an interview today. And they just called me out of the blue to tell me, hey, you have an interview, and I'm like, uh, uh, oh, 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 okay, sure. And I just went. And, oh shit, I was looking for armor. Um, but yeah, they're just like, we have a job. And I'm like, I have, I have so an interview. And I'm like, I have an interview? And they're like, you have an interview. And I'm like, uh. Thank you, Blackstar, for the gifted sub. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I got a job. So, glad to have that. And, uh just glad to s to slowly piece my way back up to I don't know what will happen next um, you know it's been a lot that I've dealt with but for now I'm just glad I'm glad that I can do something part-time glad that I can work on better myself um, I still have my bad days you know like I'm not really great like even today I went for a walk and was planning to like jump off the bridge and unalive myself with a bottom of hills but I didn't so I'm still having my bad days but I'm trying to enjoy the good days more so and I'm gonna sell these is anyone else can I even upgrade anyone to Pinello 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 um, since she is my magician she gets auto upgrade Can I not? Am I really that broke? I thought I would have had more money from the thingy. Oh no, that's right. Last episode, he went through the what you call it, the um, the ship and murdered everybody. So okay. Well, since I can't do anything else, I guess we'll talk to um Andor. Excellent. He's given orders that she would to be granted an audience. Are you prepared? Yeah, let's go. Then please come this way, Badra. Let's go. And another cutscene. When Vossler learned my father had been killed the night of the treaty signing, he returned to Ravenaster, there to aid my escape. There was still time before Vane's reach extended too far. We thought that you could protect me. However, when I then made the announcement that you had taken your own life, I must have seemed a model citizen of the Empire. The announcement, you see, was Vane's suggestion. Of course, at the time I was reluctant, but I could not perceive his reasons. Now it is clear he meant to drive a wedge between us. Halim, we are past all this. Bujerba must stand with us. We can stop Bane. <sighs> I once knew a girl whose only wish was to be carried in her uncle's arms. Your Majesty is a woman grown now. 
Then Bushirba will aid me. Suppose for a moment you were to defeat Vane. What then? You cannot simply rebuild your kingdom with the only proof of your birthright stolen. Without that, the Grand Kiltia San Boomises cannot and will not recognize your majesty as the rightful heir. You may yet be a princess, but without proof of your identity, you are powerless. You will remain with me. We do nothing till the time is right. I cannot just wait. Then what does your majesty propose we do? Uh, Uncle Halim. Incidentally, what is the going rate for rescuing princesses these days? Food would be a start. The good stuff, mind you. This can be arranged, though it will take some time. Time enough for a bath, I hope. Dirty business, you know. Ah, best bring a change of clothes, too. Yeah, this is a long-ass cutscene, so I'm just staying quiet the whole time. Well, at least I'll try to be, because some of this shit I gotta talk about. What are you doing? <laughs> this is Balthier's ship. I'm going to retrieve the Dawn Shard. It's the proof that I need. I know where it's hidden. I'll return his airship later. Are you crazy? This is something that I have to do. Not only for myself, but for all those who have fallen. I will not be made to hide. <sighs> I'll fight alone if I must. You still have Bosch, right? Besides, you can't just go around stealing people's ships. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to concentrate. That's quite enough, Your Majesty. <gasps> what do you think? A bit over the top. In my line of work, you never know when something like this might come in handy. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to concentrate. concentrate. I'm leaving you with a Marquis. You can't! Trust me, you're better off staying here. Suppose you kidnapped me instead. You're a Sky Pirate, aren't you? Then steal me. Is that so much to ask? What do you have that I would want? The Dynast King's treasure. The Dawn Shard is but one of the riches that lie waiting in King Wraithwall's tomb. <whistles> King Wraithwall, you say? Kidnapping royalty is a serious offense. It won't do much to lower the bounty on your head. How much is the price on your head these days, I wonder? <laughs> Allow me to escort you in Vossler's place. Will you be joining us? What? Are you kidding? I don't want to stick around this place. Then I'm coming too. Canelo. Uh... Don't leave me here. <sighs> of course not. Then it's settled. We should leave before the Marquis realizes she's missing, like proper kidnappers. I love this game so much. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of my favorite games of the PS2 era. Like, this is literally like my third time playing this game, and I'm not tired of it. I can, I will replay this game until it bores me. And I will do the same shit every time because I love the story that much. down the line in a PS4 it still looks good this is why I find out, this is why Square Enix is like OP when it comes to like video games and such the, the, the storytelling the fucking cutscene quality Dr. Sid everything the does style. this look at this look at how stylish this motherfucker is these are all bad guys I have confirmed he receives funds from Lord Vane on the back. You can't beat that. his agency you can't in the fall of Nabudis is also certain yet with Judge Zekt, who led the assault, missing. The truth remains difficult to ascertain. The long, cold years have clouded my eyes. I cannot see my own son's heart. 
<laughs> My lord. This illness will claim me. So then, who is to be my successor? The Senate fears the capable Peregrine Vane. They prefer a young fledgling emperor. Gabranth, once in the past I laid siege to your homeland. The Republic of Landis is long since gone. My allegiance lies wholly with the Empire. Perhaps. But what of your brother? He did not accept us as you did. He fled to Dalmasca. Did you never think to follow him? I follow his every move. He is an enemy of the Empire. He will be cut down. So you would kill even your own brother for the Empire. Be that as it may, Gebranth. Your ruthlessness is not without merit. But it must not become this way with Larsa. You must ensure that it does not. So then you ask me to be his sword, to strike where he might not. Rather be his shield. Gabranth, keep your close watch on Vane. His is the keenest blade of all. My lord. Do this for me, Gabranth. I could not... I could not bear to see my sons... war with each other again. <clears throat> That's gotta hit different, to watch your sons, your kids, fight each other and literally kill each other to go ahead and get the throne. This should be the Western Sand. Yes, the Western Sand. Now, this is where the game starts to pick up. We have our full party. We're getting some more into the game lore. And at this point, this is where the game also... Yeah, that bitch got stealth. Whoa. Um, this is where the game picks up. This come in handy often? It's tough being popular. Wouldn't want any admirers dropping in while we're away. So, this is, so I well want to say like... That's as far as she goes. We'll be in Yacht from here onwards. Across the Sand Sea to the Valley of the Dead, and to King Wraithwall's tomb below. So when you're in Yacht, Sky Stones don't work at all. That's why we gotta hoof it the rest of the way, you see? Happy you get to teach me something for a change? Well, if you wanna be a Sky Pirate, you gotta know your... Hey, what do you mean for a change? Come on, At least we thought it. to bring I'm entertainment. Oh yeah? Says who? You wanna see what things <laughs> But yeah, this is the part where the game tends to pick up because we've got our full party, we've got everything we need. Um, shit, I can't really buy anything else. Don't let the desert sun get the best of you if you're low on supplies, not the time to stock up. Um, and this right here is the last time to get all the stuff I need. Damn, damn, none of you can use this shit. Well, you can use that. Fuck, 42 de attack. Fuck, 34 and 42. I don't have enough. Maybe, well, I'll be fine. I'll get enough money for all this shit anyway, so I'm not even worried about it. I'll just grind it out. Uh, damn, do I have all? No, I don't have Cura, Arrow, or Gravity. I need all three of those damn spells. They are very useful. If you're westward bound, travel lightly, boy. Not all the races you meet in the sand, see all the civilized variety, and mind the weather. Nice, clear days. The elementals come out in droves. Don't want my customers dying. Bad for business. And what you got to say. They've lost my tail to a trap once. Ever since, I've been sure to use Libra to spot any traps good and early. Till that's my power right here, he says. Oh, you can float out of a trap without setting them off. Never thought of that. Yep, there is a float spell in this game. So, my primary party is going... Actually, you know what? I might have to do this the way I like to do it, which is... <laughs> okay. So, pretty much when I do my parties, what I do is I like to go ahead and put them together based off of experience to see who's gonna be the first to go ahead and hit a level and you'll you, you'll you'll see just give me a second to get this properly um so wait bond is at 26 45 28 95 
yeah, he stays in. Actually, no. So. So pretty much it's like this. The people who are gonna level up, uh, like. So pretty much it's like this. The people that are gonna go ahead and level up the fastest when I first do my party, I'm gonna put them in front. And then the people that are gonna level up, like take the longest time to level up, like I change it out based on when everybody reaches an appropriate level. So that's when I switch it out. So right now, the standard is everyone hits level 13, and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out. Um, Cause I want everyone to be in generally the same level, uh, level up area. But Fran, damn Fran, I got you strong as shit. Um, so let's see then, 2645, 2906, 2906, 1967. Uh, might need to take out, well, I'll put it in here. How about now? 2645-2895. 1967, 2906, uh, 2906. Okay, so gotcha. So it should be a party of. Let's see then. Bon, Balthier, and Pinello. I don't know how. I don't know how I feel about that though. I don't know how I feel about that. Cause it. Well, I got Vaughn, my tank, and then I got Pinello, my healer. And in this party, I've got Lady Ash, the tank, and then Fran and Bosch both cast magic. So I think this will work out. I hope it works out. Shit. <laughs> I hope this shit works out well. Uh, increase your attack. Yeah. Gotta make you nice and strong, my little tank. Um, Let's see. I think you have enough HP. You got over a thousand. You're good for now. Remedy lore, battle lore. Oh, ninja swords. Oh yeah, we gotta get you on those ninja swords. Those are gonna come in handy later. Um, headsman, magic lore. You don't know any spells yet, but why not? Poach. You know what? This will probably come in handy later, whenever I cross these over. Okay. Fran, we're gonna... I need to get to that. But we also want to reduce her MP. Ether. Ethers, those are good. Gotta increase the amount of MP they pop out. Okay, so we got our 30 here. Oh, increases the magic potency. That's very good to have. Now, the gambit slot, not necessary, but I need it to just unlock the thing. Pinello. Ooh. Damn, 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 damn. You know, let's give you Kur let's give you Kuraga just so you can have it. Just so you can have it. There you go, girly. Um, so you've got the white magic tree almost maxed out. Should teach you bubble because what bubble does is increase the HP. And then let's just tank you up a bit more. Ah oh, shit. Um No no no. No 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 no. No 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 no. Uh, yeah, let's give you a tank of your armor. Okay. Just putting all these points where needed. Aqua. Yes, 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 yes. I do need you to cast Aqua. And I do need you to no rays because that will be in handy. Did I already save? No, I did not. And I'll make Vaughn party leader here. Because he is the tank. Um, just gonna save real quick. And I'll just have the tank be the party leader. So. Okay, work my way up. Um, sorry, just trying to figure out how I'm rotating my saves. So. Find my map in the desert, that's right. Oh, uh, fuck. So, that doesn't look like progress. 
I think this is the way for progress. E I guess it is. Hopefully it is. Oh yeah, this is progress, alright. So we are in the sand sea. Observe. So, where exactly is Wraithwall's tomb? Far to the west. We must first cross the Ogir Yensa, and beyond that, the Nam Yensa, before we reach the tomb. An expanse of desert larger still than all of Delmasca. We must pace ourselves. If you grow tired, we stop and take rest. You don't have to worry about me. I'm tougher than I look. <laughs> you are at that. Okay, so I was waiting for a specific cutscene, but it's not here, I guess. Um, let's see. Oh, yo, I got it. Yes, 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 yes. I got the weapon I need. Yes. Okay, now I can go back and sell that bitch later. Um, yeah, so right now we're just crossing through the desert, and it's called the Sand Sea because, as you can see, it literally moves like the ocean. Like I don't want to think about like the tectonic plates and how that shit works. All I know is that's a lot of sand, and you could probably drown in it, which sounds shitty. Also, look, we're at the point that oh wait, no, that's right, no, 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 no. Oof, just got reminded of this. Uh, bangle, equip. Oh, can't have you take that. Well, I shall give this to... Oh gosh, I can... Oh gosh, she doesn't even know Bangle. Fuck. Balthia, you know Bangle, right? Please say yes. Yes! Okay. And I can give you the HP armlet. Okay. There we go. That's better. But yeah, these things are, again, it's that little turp, uh, uh, tomato thing I killed at the beginning. Take that bitch with backhand. Uh, let's see, what was I doing here? Sorry, I also just smoked some weed before I played because I was getting stressed out. Um, that's what the weed is for when my medicine doesn't work the way it should or, it's, or it just doesn't work strong enough. I just smoke and I just take like a hit and I'm good to go. Um, so what am I looking for? Oh right, the clan farmer for this one. I will read... Yeah, I guess I'll just read them all to get it out of the way. The Imperial Elite, a special order of knights under the Imperial Arcadian Ministry of Law. With the spread of Arcadian influence came a rise in crime and regional conflicts. To reduce the amount of time required by the judicial process, a military court was established, this being the origin of the Order of Judges. Okay. Na Imperial Elites. Name given to a highly trained group of soldiers who have undergone the most rigorous selection procedures to become the pride of the Imperial Army. Elites are separated into three divisions by role. Gunners being marksmen trained in the use of rifles, pilots being combat airship pilots, and beast masters being those who train the mighty mass of dogs that fight alongside Imperial soldiers. Those who make it past the selection process go to the Imperial Military Academy, known as sorry, the Imperial Military School, known as the Academy, there to learn the specialist skills of their allocated division. Judge Geese, being one of the Judge Magisters of the Arcadian Empire, Efficient of the 13th Bureau and Commander of the Leviathan, the flagship of the 8th Fleet of the Western Armada, led by Lord Vane. 
In addition to official judge, uh, official duties as judge, he also works in secret, carrying out tasks assigned to him by Vane personally. And next, the Al Ryan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. A curious sentient plant-like creature favoring warm climes, both tropical and arid. The horns of the head are used for cracking rock salt, from which they draw the salinity that sustains their life. The vines spinning like a mass from their necks have led to the classification of these creatures as a sub-variety of Mandragora. Apparently, however, the distinctive viney ruff is a source of much frustration to the creatures, and they can often be seen clawing at them, looking much like irritated pets clawing at a leash. Okay. Cute little guys. Cute little tomato pets. Also, this is why we need to have one lever for the enemies. There's gonna be some shit here that I shouldn't fuck with. I'll show you examples of what I shouldn't fuck with. Do not fuck with them unless you trust yourself or you grind it up to be in a level to find out some of these fucking things here because it's some bullshit. Also, avoid traps. Libra comes in handy in so many ways. Um, and this right here is a section that should take us maybe an hour to get through or something like that. Oh, here we go. I found my maps. So I'll have to wander aimlessly. Olga Yinsa Sansi. That's for this area. And then next we have the Nam Yinsa Sansi. So just to show you guys exactly how large this place is. So here's where we are. And this right here is all the Olga Yinsa. Look at it. It's all just so giant and pretty. And then next we have so I guess we don't have the Nam Yensa Sam C map, but we'll get the Nam Yensa, Nam Yensa. And mind you, we're not leaving until we search all these areas because I'm a loot whore and I like to get my hands on treasure. So, hope you guys are ready for a grind out. Also, just gonna be getting XP. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna find a merchant for a while. Like literally this entire section right here, it's gonna be nothing but traveling and oh shit! <sighs> There's a specific enemy here that's like a ball of fire. So like I'll show you when you'll see it. And you sh I'm not supposed to cast magic when I'm near it because the magic will set it off. You you'll see what I mean. But like when I saw old boy doing his uh, war song attack to boost in his attack and whatever. It honestly reminded me of the giant fiery death ball, which you should never, ever, ever cast magic around, ever. They're called elementals, and they're strong as well. That's that's not the elemental. That's an in type, actually. Um, there is there's two types of like, uh, well, I'll just explain it when we see it, which we should be seeing fairly soon in this area. <laughs> I'll get this guy. Back in that bitch. They give out one license point apiece. I can maybe do with that. I will have you cast Cure to see how much that heals. So how much will Cure heal? 193. That's not bad. Still would rather take high function. Yeah, I'd rather just take the high potion. That's gonna take forever. Um, gambits, gambits, gambits. Attack part of the this target, and if HP drops below 70, I'll have you cast Cure. Cure. Okay. And that's gonna just get strong enough that I don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, you just go ahead and top off. Uh, I'm gonna have you top off on here. Just because that's enough that I'm like slightly concerned. Okay. Um, but yeah, other, yeah, I don't really have too much to talk about. Um, you know, today's been a good day for me. Know, I went to an interview, um, I got hired on the spot, I start tomorrow, and uh, today's been good, 
And I've been wanting to have some good news. It's, it's been kind of craving it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. So I just see what's going on with my mind and my, my tech and just wanted to make sure it's loaded properly. There we go. Everything's up properly. Sorry, my stream was buffering on my phone and I was like, I gotta make sure this isn't buffering for everybody. Yeah, like I said, tonight's stream also might not be that long. Going for like half an hour. I'll go as long as I possibly can. Just I also haven't eaten dinner, and I'm getting the munchies. Um, and I'm if I start to eat, I'm not gonna take a break. I'm, I'm just gonna eat. So let's try to go for like two hours tops. Cause the thing is, I also have to be in there tomorrow at like. Well, they said to be in there at noon. So. A construct to draw oil from the ground. Abandoned many years now, it seems. Did Damascans build this? No, the Rosarians. Their empire lies far to the west, ever at war with Arcadia. Heedless of the kingdom's cult in their midst. Dalmasca, Nebrodia, Landis. Tis the small craft's fate to watch the list of the galleons and pray for light winds. Vosla, why are you here? Imagine my surprise when upon my return to Bojerba, I find both you and the Lady Ash have vanished. I thought you above consorting with Sky Pirates. Malthir is a man worthy of our trust, and it was the Lady Ash's decision. I am content to lend my arm. As I could not when Rasla died, when her throne was taken. Never again. I will defend her this time. You walk the night's path. The Lady Ash? We should leave this place. Let me guess. Sandstorm? Something far worse. I see. So the Dawn Shard does lie in King Wraithwall's tomb. The Marquis sympathizes with your plight. Yet the Empire perches as a carrion bird on his shoulder. He can keep whispers of your abduction silent for only so long. Yes. Tell me, Vossler, what have you accomplished? We leave at once. This is Urutan Yensa territory, and they are unfond of visitors. Looks like we've attracted the wrong sort of attention. Let's quit this place while we still can. Move! Vossler! Have you found the means to restore Dalmasca? First, we must claim the Dawn Shard. It all begins with that.
Some of that real is my mic was still on. Yeah, sorry, I had something caught in my throat. Um, not fun. No, not in the slightest. <laughs> but yeah, those were the Urutanyansa, which are like crab people. When we kill them, you'll see what I'm talking about. In the meantime, we're gonna kill more plant people. More innocent, non violent plant people. Because murder is fun. Anything down here? Nope. Just pain. Oh! Yeah, oh, okay. No, that's just a bomb. <sighs> oh, he's sturdy. Oh, he's sturdy. Yeah, beat his ass. Beat his ass. Please do not let him explode. Please beat his ass. Oh, there's the timer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not good. I should have been doing that. Wow, is Vaughn Bad is Bad about to go down again? Yeah, yeah Pinello, you heal some more. exploding when they do they usually do enough damage to knock out everybody I'm just gonna walk slow up and then the Nello does her thing uh, maybe one more to top off or not now we good uh, we'll just top off. oh no wait no not no no me kill me me, girly, me. Yes, heal the leader. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, Pinello. Such a cute little cinnamon bun. Um. Right. So now we head down this way. Huh. Still feel like there's something in my throat for some weird reason. Anyways, here's the crap, people. Fuck that bitch up like it's Maryland. Cause, cause Maryland is crabs and other shellfish types. He cast a dart. his kiss or I think that's for Toad but I've never once seen Toad be used as an attack in this like ever ever and I like know a lot about this game I don't know everything about this game I'm not gonna embarrass myself like when I first played this I'm like oh, I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about how how pretty I am at this game and then I fucking died to like a level 6 enemy at the beginning of the game <laughs> Never again. Will not do that again. I got thoroughly hung. But I will say I know quite a bit about it. Anyways, I know enough about this game and I'm just trying not to deal with shit that's gonna fuck me up. Um, that would be pleasant if avoidable. Cause this is the desert. There is no save crystal for most of this long ass way. Everything I'm doing is going off like just my own hard working hands. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah, like I said, we're only gonna we're gonna be here for like maybe two hours. Tonight. So 
got 44 minutes. I, I reckon that by the end of this, we should at least be through this. We should at least be through the Ogre against the Sand Sea. This, so this first part of the Sand Sea. We should at least be through the first part, um, if not in the second. So, okay, so we got my Libra and everything. Aw, oh, come on, don't make this difficult. Okay. Nice, money. That's how you gotta deal with those fucking traps and shit. This bitch got haste, yeah, you gotta go. You got to fucking go. You, you attack too fast. Also, that's, I don't know if I mentioned this about this game before. Um, so in this game, concepts of like speed and attack and such, they don't really matter. Everyone and everything kind of attacks, you know, at the same speed. And it's like, as you increase in level, I want to say that how oft, how quickly you can attack goes up, but it's not like a thing that's like, oh, here's a visible heavy measurement of what my speed is. Like, here's a number. My speed is like yeah. 75. My speed is 50. Mine is 89, you know? Like, there's no visible measurement like that. It's just seen as an extension of your ability. So as you level up, you attack faster, like your attack bar gets faster and faster as you level up, I think. It's never instantaneous, not unless you cast haste. But everything seems to attack at like a somewhat fair speed, and I like that. Alright, so let me go this way. But yeah, no. There are solid numbers for attack and defense. Uh, based on your fucking, and it's all just based on your armor and weapons, honestly. At least for us, as, as far as enemies are concerned, I don't know. I do not know. I do also know that I need to unlock everybody's quickenings very, very quickly because this is getting to the part of the game where they're kind of like necessary. Um, they're not super necessary, but I need to get everyone's unlocked if not close to it so the first one got it if we can at least get the first one down we are steady can increase attack damage that's never bad to do this should be oh it's a special kind of gun so magic battle and battle just gonna increase battle because you don't need magic yet No, but you're gonna be my little tanky princess. Death and sleep. Okay. What about you, Vaughn? Anything special for you? Uh, remedies. I don't think I need those yet, so I'm just gonna keep leveling you up here. Uh, I will take those two though. I will take the remedy lore to go ahead and take care of swiftness. There we go. That's the one swiftness um, I think certain classes have more swiftness than others too to reduce the the charging time for attacks so But yeah, it's fairly nice some of this shit. I absolutely do not need wait, 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 hold on, hold on. The golden amulet that does that should do a very fun thing if I remember it. Doubles license points. No one can use it. It's accessories five. Who do I want to give that to? Not Penelo because you're not in the party. Um, Ash, no, you're good. Actually, you know what? I, ooh, no, wait. Who has the bangle? I'll give it to Fran for now. Can Fran? No, Fran can't fucking equip. Me. What are my accessories? Where the where the fuck are they at? There it is. No, I need accessories six. Well, she can use it. Soon. Just realized the only thing I've had to eat all day has been two fucking hot dogs and a thing of soda. For fuck's sake, I need Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be eating later. Not right now. 
fucking most you two have the most I think I'll just head for the one at the bottom since that's the one that'll just get me to some fun times the quickest that's it yeah. <gasps> Seventy percent. I'll leave myself there because her MP is getting down bad, ferocious, and I'm just not trying to deal with having low MP on my only fucking healer. That's for now at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to cross train everybody and heal. Me. That's why you missed, yeah. bitch. Bitch, you missed. You don't get to have another chance. Anything updated in the clan primer? Oh, a pi oh, that's right. So, in the game, there's these things called rare game. Rare game is basically when you get a normal non-boss creature, and it is like an elevated form of it. Like with the pineapple, the, pine the pineapple is a rare form of the bomb. Um, but you can also get rare forms because I've seen rare forms of the stealing. So, rare forms of this bat, rare forms of the snake. Where's the snake at? Yeah, I've seen a rare form of this and actually fought it. Uh, in the last game, in my last game, I got pretty far along in the game and I pretty much got the, um, the rare game of like all of them, you know, like kind of their elite forms of all of them. So, it's pretty neat. Anyways, it's gonna read about the Owl Realm, and then we're gonna go back to reading about the Pineapple. Ogiriensa Sansi, a desert region in the west of the Yagiensa. Most of it covered in fine-grained sand that ebbs and flows like water, compared from antiquity to a sea. Abandoned drilling rigs can be found here and there, dotted about the ever-shifting terrain. In the past, the Rosarian Empire sought to draw rich oils from the ground here, but relentless attacks from the Urathan Yensa, who considered the Sand Sea to be solely theirs, drove them away. Men are now a rare sight inside the desert borders. Okay, and let's read about the pineapple. Rare game. Bomb possessing many times the explosive power of its more common ilk. This strain, as yet unrecorded in the camp annals, is hunted in the Ogir Yensa Sand Sea. Urathan Yensa. A race evolved from crustaceans to bipedal humanoids. Um, their hides are extremely hard, covered with stiff bristles of needle-like hair. Customarily, they wrap themselves in cloth, although whether this is for protection against the elements or to hide their hideous appearance, none can stay. Extremely aggressive by nature, all attempts at integrating Urodan Yensa into human culture have ended in tragedy. Though they recognize no state, they are fiercely territorial and 
war between Uratani and tribes is incessant. And this is a bunch of extra shit. My dear, okay, letter to Wayfarer 105. My dearest Polania, my close examination and painstaking translation of the text you sent me a fortnight since is finished. I send you the results with all haste. The text in question was written in an ancient time, yet it offered only nominal resistance to my keen interpretive eye. Okay, jackass. It is nothing other than the memoranda of an ancient crafter of weaponry, though as to whether what it records the truth or merely a fiction, I must confess I suspect the latter. I await your return with bated breath, and ask you bring something offering a modicum more challenge, though my expectations remain, as always, humble. Yours, Ferrister Archaeist. Well, so basically saying, hey babe, you sent me some shit, but it was too easy for me. I look forward to seeing you, and I'm asking you to bring me something great, but I don't have high hopes. Aren't you a dick? Project Memorandum 1, 12-24-27. Request from said patron. Wanting a device for felling beasts, fiends, and company, and I'm not thinking to act the sort of creature he hunted, but it matters not. Whatever it may be, it will have wants, and I need only fashion and appropriate lure to whet its greed. Perhaps something in the shape of a coffer. 19, 26, 27. Prototype complete. When placed surreptitiously among my assistant's belongings, he reached for it with a swiftness and low, his shock and dismay at being caught. Now I need only a fashion for a means of attack. I think this guy was making mimics. Project Memorandum 2, 29, 26, 27, delivery complete. 127, 27. Receive complaint. The target was in fact a dragon of some power. Tell me these things sooner, yet one must not complain to one's patron. On bended knee and with head hung low, submitted I a tally of additional costs and fees, for which I was only reimbursed after much hemming and hawing. I will not forget this. 52727. How to defeat that which cannot be defeated? Nightly I ponder. Project Memorandum 3. 627, sorry, 62827. Tis hot, unbearably so. I find this season most unpalatable. Be that as it may, I have devised a... Oh, hey Lemonade, I'm just seeing your message, hey. Be that as it may, I have devised a plan for this project. When one does not know the strength of one's foe, one must first observe. Then one must attain the necessary strength to defeat the enemy. My weapon will be a learning, growing entity. Not 16, 29, 27. Growth lattice in place. Had I not made it myself, indeed, I would say it lived. Yet all that lives must have a mother, and so that is what I shall make next. Yeah, he's making the Mimic Queen. 14, 30, 27. The mother is completed and continues her growth. So too grows her brood. For daily she gives birth to small larval weapons. Like their mother, they too have the appearance of small coffers. Tis much like the laying of eggs one might witness in the wilds, and as such is quite fascinating. Yet at this rate, my, lab my laboratory will soon be filled with coffers. Returning current stock to storage. Okay. So remembering correctly, yeah, this guy is basically why the, um... This guy is responsible for creating the Mimic Queen. <coughs> Excuse me. I never play Apex anymore. Yeah, I play Apex. Um, I play Apex all the time. I just probably play it when you're sleeping. Um, I have work tomorrow, but whenever I get a work schedule, um, I'll throw it to you and you can go ahead and play more Apex. Uh, heads up, I'm still ass. <laughs> I'm still ass, but I still do play for fun.
it's cool to just walk away. They'll wake up eventually. some rest fam yeah I keep forgetting you're like what like how many hours ahead like so, wait, so it's like five hours away. 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 yeah you're like six hours ahead so yeah whenever i'm able whenever i'm streaming with you it's ooh, nice but whenever i'm streaming with you it's probably gonna be like 10 p.m or something like that no one can use that I like to go ahead and sort my stuff. I do not like my loot just hanging about really neatly. Really. Auto sort. Sort. There we go. No. About that damn sword. Cole got a super. Katana 2. Uh, no one can use that. One handed weapons. Oh, I did have Vaughn using that. Before. I remember that. He can't use Code Goddess. Can you? You can't use it, right? You can't. Uh. Shit. What's this? Ooh, nice. More buffness. Daggers, daggers, daggers. Damn, it sucks to have a weapon that no one can use. That would be really convenient. Bow breaker, so she only uses axes. Staves. The fuck do you use again? Blades. Maces. Some fucking maces. Guns. And staves and magic. Ugh. Damn, it's such a good sword. At least I can sell it for money. So that's it's not a complete waste. Okay. Tonight's been a good night. You know, I think overall today's been a good day. I got a sub and a gifted sub, and I got a job, I had an interview, I got a job I start tomorrow, everything's been going well, I'm just trying to be optimistic because normally shit usually goes sideways when it gets this good, shit tends to go sideways, so I'm gonna try to be hopeful though, because shit's gonna go sideways and it's gonna be really different, shit always goes sideways and everything's go good for me, so means I'm just gonna try to go ahead and remember the good times and just not get super depressed over some bullshit that happens. I really hope I don't get hit with some magic bullshit because of Penelo healing people, which I told her to do. Vaughn, let's let's top you off. Let's uh let's top off your health, buddy. And Penelo, you gotta use an ether or something. I really need you to use like an ether or something, bro. Um, how many of these things do I have? I hope I have enough. Four. Four is good. What's your max? Your max is 115. 
140. Okay, I'll take that. That's a good. That's that's pretty far. And it heals 55 and it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, even with a try attack. Oh, damn. Ooh, nice. Remedy. Gotta get rid of that slow bossler. Pinello, please hit me with another heal. Thank you. I'm not afraid to run from some of these enemies. Not these guys, because they're easy to beat. But the ones that like are targeted by magic. Or the ones that get like irritated by magic, like it sets them off. Yeah, those run away. Run away because there's no chance of beating them. They are stupidly strong. Like you cannot beat them until you get to like a later point in the game. How do I know this? Because I've tried. And all I could succeeded in doing was pissing it off. Please don't piss off the grand magical deities that are made of pure fire and lightning and ice and other elements. For all that is, just don't do it. It's not worth it. You don't get any big dick points. You get dumbass points, which are just way worse. You're really fucking bad. <clears throat> oh yeah, this should lead to downstairs, but where downstairs, I do not know. Who has haste? You take you up first. going in there because I think I know what's in there and it's nothing that we can handle it is literally nothing that we can handle it is like level 45 and shit in there it's some bullshit in that cave it's some fucking bullshit in that cave yo okay we spent about an hour and we have uncovered a third fuck's sake Maybe I should just make the limit to hit a fucking... You know what, no, I'm gonna say two hours, because if at the end of two hours we haven't discovered a fucking... What's-its-face name? Um... Crystal to, to save with and everything? I'm just gonna run all the way back to the first one and just save the game there, because... Fuck it, why not? have haste on. That's not common, I don't think. You all have haste. I've never seen that before. Like, I'm not complaining about it, but seriously, that is, that is weird. Um, 
I guess we'll check out this. Since I'm closest to this already. Oh, I'm fucking missions. Last time I played this, I gave Bond the Samurai Sword fit, which, now think about it, doesn't really work for him, but it also made him a tank with high attack. So, yeah. Should I attack you? Fuck it, I'm gonna attack y'all. Level 14, fuck, I forgot you all leveled up, shit. Fucking radical when you see it. Um, what's I doing with you? Yeah, I'll just make you stronger. Ooh, more guns. Magic or attack. Attack, attack, attack. You don't need magic yet. But we do need some attack. Two more points for Pinello. Yeah, make you more of a tank. Give you that extra 190. Um, Bosh is. I'll make you a little tanky too. Okay, so he gets more emphasis put on magic than on like actual spells and shit. I do need that. I do need swiftness. That'll definitely help. That'll be the next thing I get. Oh wait, don't I already have his quickening? Is, is his quickening not gotten yet? Fuck, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, wait, what is that a hundred? That's... doesn't even have his shit yet, so why is it 100? That's his level 2, but like... 
There's no level one. Okay. Then why the fuck is it a hundred? That makes not a fucking bit of sense. I'm genuinely pressed right now. <sighs> Going in the wrong way. That's his level. I was really about to spend all my money on his level two. Fuck. Been an hour fifteen. Nice. Hit that bitch in the face. Good hits. Oh, both of you niggas got maces. Damn. Yeah, y'all just cracking niggas' heads open. I got zero issues with that. Mage. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> nice, chain number nine. <laughs> nice, boss. I'm just about to lay down on my fucking bed. <laughs> I just game like this. This is not the first time I do this. But yeah, sometimes when I'm just like, just say fuck it, I just do this and just say fuck it. Cause if I'm gonna be here for an extended period of time, nigga, I'm gonna be comfortable. I was not comfortable before, but I damn sure am now. favorite energy from enemy animation Let's just hit him with a fucking uppercut Yeah, 
Yeah, no, you gotta top me off one more time. Yep, she knows. Thank you, mommy. I mean, fuck. <laughs> uh, I meant mommy as in like the Spanish way. Not mommy as in like, mommy. Like, I mean, shit. Fran is worthy of being called mommy, but like, shit, that's not how I meant it. Fuck. Give me a moment, because I like to go ahead and write down these moments that I have, like, really good moments on stream. I'm going to mute myself when I get a piece of paper. I'll be back. Back to my comfortable position. Excuse me, I'm just gonna make a note of that. I'm gonna do that with all my games. If I have like a good ass moment, I'm just gonna <laughs> excuse me, fucking write it down. Also, the fact that there's no angry, fiery deities here has me slightly terrified because they're supposed to be here, but they're not here. That's weird because there's always at least one out here. Maybe I just haven't hit the right portion yet. Maybe it's just gonna be like a specific portion of like desert. Switching back. Okay, we're switching back. Go now to get everyone to level 14. Oh, fuck, there it is. See, that's it. That's the guy. That's the fucking sun deity. And see, he don't care about attack. What he care about is magic. The minute he gets a whiff of me or anyone else here casting fucking... Yeah. What's it called? Fucking cure or anything else. It is just over for us. Like, please don't follow. Please don't the other way. Oh, thank you so much. As you can see, that's literally fucking Sunny D. We got, we got literally the power of the sun as our enemy. Damn! Level 14, okay. I guess I'm switching back to the other party again. Oh, thank you, Penelope, for not doing that nearby. Thank you so much. Oh, girl, you had me terrified. Thank <laughs> you. 
much this area do I have? To I've still got a fucking third. Oh my gosh. For fuck's sake. I just now reached an hour and a half. And I'm st and I'm just now getting to be like fucking two thirds of the way done with this bullshit. Oh, I love you, Final Fantasy, but why you gotta be on some fuckery all the time? Your friend's healing is doing pretty good. Good shit, give me another. No? Alright, well, I'm kill that. I would say nigga, but I don't feel right about playing a white person calling a black person nigga. I haven't died and everything's going really fucking well. Like, this is supposed to be a difficult game. That's not how Final Fantasy works. Uh... Oh, yeah, go ahead, heal him. Damn. I really need to get you over a thousand XP. I am not walking over those traps, fuck it. That can stay the way it is. Um, a hit or miss with her attack. She just did nine attacks that time. Fucking nine. Like, look at this. Yeah. 33. But sometimes I clearly see her doing like a not Like, that's 30. Why is it so fucking low? It's so weird. This is like kind of different from like any other layout that I've done in the game. So it's a tad bit... Interesting. Because people aren't using the same weapons. I'm trying to have them use something that's like shooter there for all that. Oh, do not 
not attack. Do not attack. No rascal. No fucking fuck. Dragonfly off rascal. Fucking good. Hope you don't hear attacking dragons. Oh gosh, it's coming. Oh fuck it, I'm gonna see if we can kill the dragon wait. Yeah, 14, okay. We're gonna see if we can kill the fucking dragon. Oh, you weak to water. Okay. able to kill a dragon so um high five high five five that's new Ulitanian soon okay so page six okay project memorandum four 29 30 27 delivery by a viewing crystal consider one of the coffers I watched the fray tis a dragon of incredible size indeed my creature my creation's attacks appear to strike true yet the creature is never the worst for it I shudder to think on how much further growth will be needed before real results can be seen in this deadly contest. 13127 receives complaint. How dare you allow the fell beast to escape or some such? I essay to explain that time was acquired for the learning to take root. Yet my dear patron's ill humors did rise, setting his face to shine bright red and there was no reasoning with him. A pestilence take him. Finding this whole affair to have left a bitter taste upon my tongue, I departed. But only after creeping down to the patron's well-proportioned well cellars, there releasing a very young mother. I should give him a surprise in a few years. 53127. I wonder where Mark 12 could have gotten to. Both the viewing crystal and transmitter were crushed in the fray. I can only find, surmise it found some place rich in mist whereby to foster its continued growth. I wish it the best of luck, this being the last entry. Yeah, yeah, no. Give me that dragon I just killed. Give me some intro on that. But well, first, we'll see about the Danbanias. Danbania. Being a variety of Ichthan traveling the desert regions in flocks from one alone bull Dalbania. It is a peculiarity of their physiology that a bone juts forth from the lower jaw like a spear. Their brownish yellow coloration blend perfectly blends in with the sands, camouflaging them from their greatest natural predator, the Ryder, the Wyvern. Their friends are highly evolved for scooping at the wind, lifting them upwards, and by flapping them as a bird flaps its wings, they can fly with ease. Okay, and we so vampire is what the Y is supposed to be weirder. Okay, the strain of dra this strain of dragon possesses both the sharpened talons of a tyrant weirder and the wings of a weirder. The latter having been traded for four limbs at some point in the creature's eons-long development, particularly flown in the flesh of the Danbania fish, they wheel through the upper air, searching with keen eye for the next meal. Of the same strain, the more aged individuals are called Bellweaver, thought to be emissaries of the war gods for their effect on warriors in the field, who are inspired to great acts of foolhardy courage and bravery by the merest sight of these mighty creatures in the ocean. Okay, cool, Dragon Lord. Got it. What are we here? 137? Nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm just glad we killed that fucking dragon. Because I've never killed that fucking dragon. I've just ran away. Because different enemies, they have these things called flying type enemies. Where you can't really hit them unless you hit them with magic or a bow. Or you have attacks that are specially designated for flying types. Like Phosphorus Telekinesis. I've never, it's not that I wasn't able to beat it, I just never had anything for it. But here, I do. So, that was just fun. I'm glad I was able to kill it. <coughs> Something in my throat. And. Kill this little fuck. 
fucker. Sorry, buddy, you gotta go again. Bye. Get ready for the pain. Your life is forfeit. Glad you understand. I love how me saying it's life is forfeit. Don't step in this one. Thank you for not being stupid, guys. setup is just my laptop all I have is a very simple laptop installation but I would like to whenever I get the money and or grow enough well shit. yeah there we go whenever I can get the funds for it um, be it from disability or channel growth I would like to get a desk and a much more comfortable chair or better yet just you know directly stream off my fucking couch which would probably mean you have a couch. I don't have a couch, I have my grandma's couch. But yeah, just stream directly off my couch in my living room. Just lay on my fucking couch any which way whenever I'm ready. Or whenever I'm just like, fuck it, I don't want to sit anymore. I want to lay down. That'd be nice. Nice level 14. Everyone's up there. I set up my parties. I just grind through levels like this. Notice that they look like the fucking sand people from uh, Star Wars. That bitch Echo. Yeah. I know one of you had haste, but. I'm so glad that sleep does not work. <laughs> I'm debating on just yeah. ending it right now, but I fucking said two hours, and I'm giving you guys two hours. So that's how much I love you guys. I'm giving you two hours exactly. Even in my tired state, where I would just so easily prefer to just give the fuck up, I'm gonna give you two hours and then save Crystal or not. I'm getting the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here after two hours. And then I'm just gonna go and just find... I'll just get the fuck out of here and then just run all the way back to like the same point. So I gotta grab something to eat. I'll be back. I'm just gonna kill this guy and then I'll be back. I gotta eat something. I'll be back. I'm back. Did I go that way? Oh, no. If only this terrible game, this terrible loving game, will let me know which fucking way is the way to the next damn sand scene. Sorry, I'm just, I'm lost in thought right now, that's why I'm not saying too much of anything. Yeah. Yeah. 
only thing. Okay. Now we got the Yensa. Being a great sandfish living in the sand sea of the Yag Yensa that when full grown becomes a bull Yensa. Though commonly found moving through the sands, they do occasionally surface. The outside being covered in a sheath of bony scales, beneath which is secreted a viscous slime having the likeness of a membrane, this being to repel the intrusion of sand. The Urutan Yensa have learned the art of harnessing these beasts as an excellent means of travel across the trackless sands. Spirit Tom, being a land-dwelling toad lacking the web digits of its waterborne kin. Found most often in arid climes, their skin secretes an oil thereby to prevent loss of moisture. Their hindquarters are well suited to traveling on land and they rear upon them when threatened, freeing their powerful foil limbs for an attack. What did I get in here? Oh yeah, a water for felling over 500 foes and I need the title of Blood Dancer. I love these little guys, they're great. That is not progress, well that is progress but of a different kind. To an area that I cannot handle yet. So we're just gonna lose a lot of little masses right back up these stairs. And try to finish out this remainder of the third. has to be the exit. Like it's just one of you has to be the exit. No. No. I'm gonna guess it's you. Actually no. Fuck. Fucking maybe it's this. West to the Ogiriensa sand sea. Well, since it said it west, I'm just gonna presume it's you. And if it's not, you fucking got me, but. <laughs> you know, I think I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm gonna try. I said two hours, but what I'm gonna try to do is try to finish out this area. And uh, after that. You know, head west to see if we find the full gear against the sand sea. I'll try. I'm not even making any promises, but I'll try. Yeah! 
sitting in silence again. Yeah, I can't think of anything to talk about. That we finished this entire section, and it literally took us two fucking hours. Holy shit! I guess we do the other section. That'll be another two hours. Nobody losing an HP and Penelope doing her shit. And all of a sudden we got fucking the apocalypse on this.
casual level 15 on everybody. have successfully gone through this entire fucking area and we haven't found a save crystal or anything so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end the stream here I'm gonna run back to a save crystal and save it and then on Wednesday night uh, when I'm hopefully more up to it we will go through the rest of the sand sea and then see what we can do after that all right um, once again thank you all for tuning in my name is Oso thank you for your support Thank you all again for the gifted subs and such, and I will catch you all um, this Wednesday on January 12th, so long as everything goes well. Uh, peace.